Welcome to this Windows Computer and Technology channel. And uh, somebody asked me about Microsoft Edge. He's using Edge. And he was notice noticing that uh, there was settings in Edge that resembled the ones in Windows. So in Windows 11, Windows 10, we have these um, settings that are the uh, diagnostics and feedback. Uh, and of course, uh, there's a lot of people that um, don't like these because you can't switch them off. So in the Microsoft Edge browser, somebody noticed that there's also such a setting. And you wanted to know, is it um, you know independent from the settings that are in Windows? Or are they controlled by the ones in Windows? No, they are different. So in Windows, you have your diagnostics and feedback information. But Edge also has them. If you go into the upper right corner, into Settings, and to privacy search and services and you go down you will see something that's called required diagnostics data and optional diagnostics data so in here what happens is that when you are actually using Microsoft Edge you have diagnostics data settings and you see here it says this is determined by Windows Diagnostics data setting. So it's still a separate type of data, but it will follow the data, the settings of Windows. So normally, for example, here I am uh, required diagnostics data because in Windows that's what I'm using. Technically, if I go into the Windows settings, I go into the diagnostics and feedback and I say that I want this to be um, only the required so no optional data because optional data is much more data and I go back to edge you technically this should have change also in edge so here privacy once again and we go down and here you'll see that optional is now off you see that setting here is an off so it follows windows but it is different diagnostics data and what i mean by that is that windows has its own diagnostics data for um, you know to so microsoft knows what's happening and if there are crashes or problems they actually can see and try to fix it um, but in edge even though the slider follows the one in windows Edge has its own diagnostics data that goes to the Microsoft Edge team. And if Edge crashes or has problems, Edge also sends some information. So you can, in a sense, say that uh, two, two sets of diagnostics data are being sent when you actually uh, use Edge. But the main switch for how much data is sent out is not the one here in Edge, because you can't use it. It follows the one that you choose in Windows. Which is not a bad idea because that means that they kind of <clears throat> know that if you want to, you know, only send the required data and nothing more, they will actually do the same in Edge automatically without you having to go to Edge to do it. So um, it's controlled by Windows, but it's two different sets of data. One is Windows related. The other one is Edge, Microsoft Edge related. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.